fire Trying not to bend my feet I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like it When you're packing your back And turning your back Calling me a liar Calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can't let them go So now I got these voices morning everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here and haven't already hit that red subscribe button down below become part of the family before you go another day at home another vlog you guys let's start the day outfit of the day boohoo boohoo and these are really old but i'll link something similar and then i'm wearing little mini gold hoops from boohoo as well this sweater is actually really pretty it's like a very like almost like a greenish gray it's very like sea foamy, I guess. I don't know, super pretty though. It's like a cropped hoodie, super duper comfy, warm, but also lightweight, so I'm super comfy today. These are by far the most comfy, affordable bomb sweatpants that I own. They just fit so well, and I'm wearing them in a size small. They're always sold out, but just keep checking because when they come back in stock, you guys need to grab these. They are amazing. I may or may not have placed another order on Boohoo. It's all taken out because I sanitized every single individual package. So um, I'm probably going to try that out in the next vlog because I have some other plans that I wanted to do today. Gotta space out that content, Bella. We don't want to run out of all ideas within a month or a week, I guess. <laughs> oh my, so precious. Look how happy. <gasps> I knew it. I, I felt it. I felt it coming. Why are you so hyper today? Get get off. Hey, get Hey, get it. Hey, get it. Hey, get it. Hey, excuse me. Hey, no. Oh, thank you so much. Look at her little lip is stuck. Put your little lip down. <laughs> Something I totally forgot to do in the last video. I'm sure you guys were like, what the heck, Alyssa? We unboxed them, but we didn't put them in. I got the Edison bulbs for our lamps, and I'm so excited to see how they look. I hope they're like a good color. So let's go ahead and start the day with that. Well, I already started the day, but start the vlog with that. I am hoping that this helps the lighting in the mirror over there because I love taking like outfit pictures and like TikToks in there. So I want the lighting to be a little better. So hopefully these are good. Let's see. Oh my god, they are so cute. These were so affordable on Amazon. I believe they were maybe $16 for four of them. 15 ish somewhere around there, and they came super fast. That's what she said, Benj. In here, I just put for now like a random little bulb, but we're gonna switch it out. Cute! Oh good, it actually looks good while it's off too. I was kind of worried about that. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Oh my god, and Benji attacked the tissues this morning. That's what that noise was. I don't know what's wrong with this cat, but he like has a tissue obsession. Like in the bathroom, we have the ledge from the window and he sits up there. And I was noticing there was like little pieces of like tissue. And I'm like, Zane, are you like destroying tissue? He's like, no, I thought that was you doing that, like making a mess. And it turns out he would sit on the ledge of the bathroom and then like scrape at the tissues and just make a complete mess out of it. I don't know why he likes it. And now he's clawing at the light bulbs. What are you doing? You can no. Look at him. He's he knows he's in trouble. I'm gonna put the old bulb in here just for now. All right, time for the final reveal. Are we ready, cats? Feels like I'm at a Christmas tree lighting. Ready? One, two, or three, two, one. Woo! Oh, they are nice and soft. That's good. Ready, kitties? This one was never even plugged in. Please hold. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. Woo! -hoo! All right, so cute. And I'm going crazy. Mommy's going crazy during this quarantine, huh? Ow, yo! Damn it! I asked for that. That's gonna be a bad one. She got me good. She's like, can you just leave me the f alone? Like, have you not gotten the hint? <laughs> Benji, those tissues are not for you. Oh no, he wants the light. Don't do that either. Oh my God, they're like white, but also like calm. Okay, let's see, ready? Oh, <gasps> I love it, you guys, they're perfect. Get it? Perfect. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like our bedroom is finally coming together. I'm so freaking excited. Sorry, I really want to pet you, but like you just don't want me to. Look what you just did to me. Ooh, that's a bad one. The disrespect, why is she letting you pet her? 
Not nice to her. I was nice. Billy, you like daddy better than me. That's not fair. All right, well, those turned out really well. I'm really happy with the way that those look. Now, Zane is gonna go work out, but I have something, hello? There we go. I have something really cool that I want to make, but he wants to have it when he's done. This was better lighting. He wants to have it when he's done working out. So I'm gonna have something small right now because it's pretty late in the day. It's like, 1 30 and I have not eaten literally anything. I don't know how because I've been up since like 8 30 8 15 ish So I'm freaking hungry So I'm gonna have something kind of small now and then we'll start cooking in a little bit So let's find something to make something small, but also like I'm really hungry. So something in between Oh, let me give you guys an update on this. So exciting. Check it out. Check it out Oh my god, it's like almost usable. I don't want to pick it off like prematurely, but she she's growing. Oh my god That cut is actually so bad. Ouch! This will heal like in a few days, but ow! I'm gonna have one of these breakfast sandwiches because they fill me up really really well And it's quick and easy and they're just delicious. I dip it in syrup and it tastes like a McDonald's like McGriddle It's so freaking good. I know how boring and disappointing of me not cooking anything just making a frozen meal But don't worry we are making something so cool in just a little bit, I promise. Oh my goodness, these are so good. I've made these before, like I tried to like meal prep them myself and I just feel like it's a lot of work like to make all the eggs and then the cheese and the bacon and put the English muffin and then you have to wrap them up individually. Like it's just so much easier to buy them. But it was fun prepping it and they tasted really good. I guess if anything, now that we have all this time would be a fun time to meal prep these things, so. Wow, look at me go, you guys. Home-cooked meal, professional, delicious, mm-hmm. I'm gonna enjoy, and then we need to vacuum up this place because um, it's been a while. Now I got these voices in my head, baby. I can focus. Feels like I've been hypnotized. Now I'm terrified I'm losing you. Touching your body. But feeling like I'm all alone, you don't seem to want me, even though you told me so. And baby, I wonder if we should just go our separate ways. We could start over, we could start over. All right, my vacuum just died, so we're gonna move on and let it charge. I need to switch out my screen protector because I dropped my phone like two weeks ago and my screen protector cracked. I have like the glass screen protector on it. Will you guys be able to see it? I don't know, it's like right here, a bunch of cracks. So luckily last time I ordered it, it came with like a few of them. So we're gonna replace that real quick. I used to work at Five Below, that was my first job, and we would sell screen protectors and customers would ask me all the time to put it on their phone for them, so I've kind of become pretty good at this. You can see I just lay it down and then it slowly adheres itself perfectly with no bubbles. Amazing. Okay, that was one of those stupid little things that needed to be done for a long time and I just never did it. Now, I want to take um, command strips and I want to command hook the switcher for the lamp onto the back of our nightstand so that when we want to turn it on and off, we can just reach right here and the switch will be right there instead of having to find it on the wire. I think that'll be super helpful. It can literally just like be right here and we can just flip it on and off easily. There we go, just like that. Literally so easy and such a like a I was gonna say a time saver not a time saver like I don't know just makes your life a little easier Okay, now it is time Zane is finished working out. We are going to make a late lunch very early dinner I am so excited. I've been wanting to make this for a freaking long time. I'm so bummed. So if you saw the vlog where Zane and I celebrated him getting signed to his record label, we went to a restaurant called Burgeritos and it kind of changed our life. I mean, I had been there before, but like this time was, it just hit different. And I was like, we could make this at home, especially since we can't go eat there right now. I'm sure they're doing takeout, but you know what I mean? We can't go sit there and eat. So let's try making our own version of it. The only thing that I'm a little worried about, the only thing I'm a little worried about is they had this amazing chipotle sauce on there that like made it so delicious. But Zane's like the sauce king, he calls himself. So we're gonna put Zane up to the sauce. 
I will do everything else. So with that being said, we specifically saved two burgers to make this, two frozen burgers. They're just regular beef patties. We're gonna use the 85% lean. These are just from Lidl. You can use any burger, make them fresh if you want. I don't care. We're kind of winging this, kind of making my own recipe. The only thing is we're gonna have to make a sauce. I don't know if Zane's gonna look it up or just wing it. We don't know, but let's get started. I'm so excited to try this out. First things first, let's, on the realist. <laughs> Let's get everything out that we want to put in the burrito. Definitely some avocado. I don't know how much we're going to need, but there's some. To make the sauce, I'm assuming we're going to start with a yogurt base. So we'll have that out. And then probably some mayo in the sauce. Wait, Mexican cheese or a sli sliced cheese? I think they used a shredded cheese, baby. It wasn't like slices. Definitely not American. No? Okay. We don't have um, cheddar. We just have Mexican. We have Mexican. Mexican, Mexican, or Mott's. Or American. Probably Mexican. Lots might not even be bad, but I would do Mexican. Lettuce, some green onion, because that makes everything taste amazing. What else did they have in there? I can't remember. Onion, yes. And the secret sauce, you guys. Some french fries in there. Come on. Ow. Is that it? Yeah. We don't that's want enough stuff. Yeah, yeah. We don't want that's enough. Beef fries, green onion. Beef? Okay, so we it got- It wasn't green onion, but I'm down to try it. No, it makes everything better, trust me. French fries, our, our tortillas aren't that big, so we have to be careful. Green onion, regular onion, sa uh, salad. Romaine, Mexican cheese, you're gonna make the sauce, I don't know how you're gonna make it, and avocado, and the burger. I think that's enough, okay, like we got it, we got it. First things first, we're gonna put the French fries in the air fryer, because these are gonna take like 20 minutes, so we can prep everything else, and the French fries will be done in time. Okay, fries in. And that coffee always reminds me of Target. It makes me sad. We're just using frozen shoestring fries. All right, now that those are in the air fryer, I'm actually going to use my griddle for this because one, I just want an excuse to use it because I love using it, and two, it'll just be easy because I have to cook multiple things. Okay, Google, what degrees should you cook a burger? What degrees? It should be like, On the what temperature? <laughs> temperature for burgers. Burgers should be cooked on medium oh, high to high. Most gas grills have a built-in. I was gonna say this one says 325, but baby. Okay. Grill I'll grill grill. In, in the middle. No, I would do. Yeah, 325. Okay, Google. Pause. I was gonna say because these are frozen and we're cooking them from frozen, they, <laughs> they need to be cooked from uh, at a low heat. Oh, okay. If you cook them too high, they're gonna be too rare in the middle. Okay. Okay. Cool. Got it. On it. Wait, do you I wanna make burgers? You're like, um, are you good at making burgers? I mean, you've been killing it lately, so. Wait, so I just season them and put them on and flip them, no? Yeah, I would do like salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. That's what I would have done anyway. Yeah, those are like the best burgers. Fancy, what are you doing? Hey! Get your boy back here! Oh, because here, it's back there. He's trying to sneak behind the fridge because the box wasn't there. Okay, while the griddle's heating up, we're gonna cut up our onion. I am just going to use half of it because we don't need that much. I think cutting an onion is like one of my favorite parts about cooking. I just wish it didn't make your eyes tear. How to cut an onion, one-on-one -on -one with Alyssa. Leave on the root. We're gonna make slices, but don't go all the way to the root. You're gonna go close to it, but not all the way. Now you'll have strips going down this way. You're gonna turn the onion sideways and you're gonna cut down and it's gonna leave you with dices of onion. I'm actually gonna put the rest of this onion away as well because I don't think we need that much at all. Are you looking up the sauce? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, now after all that, your griddle is nice and hot. I actually feel like this is a little too hot. We're gonna lower her to 300. We're gonna get our onions on there. I don't know if you should technically spray oil a griddle but I spray everything even if it says not to like when I bake or anything and it says like don't spray it I always do burgers are going on burgers are flipped in the meantime I'm gonna chop some green onion we could start over trying not to let my feelings get to me sometimes I can let them go so now I got these voices Now I got these voices This is all you, girl. Okay. I am not good at assembling burritos. <laughs> 
All right, we are all prepped and ready to go. We got the tortillas, avocado, scallions, or green onion, lettuce, onions, cheese, sauce, burgers, fries. Let's do this. I hope it all fits in here. These are kind of small, so. The tortilla that they wrap it in there is like massive, so I'm a little nervous. You seasoning the burgers? Yeah. Stay over there. <laughs> Just making sure. What do I wanna do first? Me first, for sure. What if it gets it soggy? I think it should be on a bed of lettuce. Oh, you're thinking three steps ahead of me. <laughs> By the way, consider that. I'm doing this because Zane is not good at assembling burritos. It's a disaster. <laughs> it just becomes a salad every time or a bowl. <laughs> yeah, it just all falls out. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a bed of lettuce so that nothing gets too soggy. Small bed of lettuce though, because we have a lot of ingredients to put on here. We're gonna take our burgers and cut them in half. I didn't realize how small these burgers were. This is good. I think, yeah, they're actually super small. Like that. I didn't realize either. Do we need to overlap them a little because we're gonna need space to fold. A little bit of cheese because I should have melted it on the burger, so we're gonna hope that it's a little bit, it melts a little bit. A little bit of grilled onion, avocado. We love avocado out here. Lots of it. Avocado is also soggy, so we're gonna top with some french fries. I think we're doing it, babe. It smells really good. I got faith. I literally would have never thought to make this if we never went to that restaurant. I know, it's kind of like a quesadilla burger, just like in a, in a burrito. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. Zane made the sauce. He used a recipe online. I will link it down below for you guys. Put some of that on there. And top with some scallions. Oh my god, look at those. A masterpiece. You could probably use a little more sauce, no? Yeah. Actually, no, we'll dip. Yes. <laughs> okay, before I potentially destroy, here's what they look like. Oh my god. It kind of looks like the, the awful Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to try and fold them. Oh, I think I got this. I got faith, baby. <laughs> oh wait, I got a call. Chipotle hired me. Hey, yo. Sean Kingston. I actually could have put all the fries. So now we got a little side to go with a burrito. Dip it in the sauce. Okay, here you go, babe. Ooh, wait, I get the poopy wrap? It's not poopy wrapped. <laughs> what? I'm fucking with you. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I think this is gonna be amazing, actually. Got a few extra fries and sauce for dipping. Go ahead. <laughs> Looking at me for permission. I could have stuffed it more. I underestimated. Mmm. -hmm. Tastes completely different, but mm -hmm. it's good. Why is it cold though? Should I put them on this griddle? Because everything was done. Is that, or is it um because the avocado is cold? I think everything Did was just done for a long time. I'll throw them on the griddle for a minute and then everything will get nice and warm. You're like, no, I want to just eat it. It tastes so good. I do think that this would be way better with higher quality beef. Their burger was really nice quality and really like. Yeah, this is literally like a frozen burger. Yeah. But Still it's really good. good. Mm -hmm. I think with more tweaks, this could be Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think higher quality meat, mm -hmm. more seasoning on meat. Um, I put so much. And then just try to time it better so that it's like hot. Yeah. I think if I just threw these on the griddle for a minute, they would be warm. Yeah, probably, but I'm so hungry. So as I'm eating it more and more, I've been putting on the extra french fries that are on the side and then putting like more sauce on top. And that makes it like really good. So you should put definitely like all the sauce that you make and by the way the recipe that i'm gonna link we made less than that it calls for like half a cup of whatever and we use like half of it i believe i don't know zane made it but i would put in all the extra fries to make it extra crunchy and saucy definitely a lot more flavorful that way Whew, okay that was good very filling not as good as the restaurant but definitely serves the craving at home so I i'm happy with that that was pretty good but we need to clean this up so stuff to recycle there like um cans and stuff and benji is intrigued for some reason that's not for you you know you're doing something bad hey cut it <laughs> 
All right, I am going to finish vacuuming really quick and then we need to like um, redo the cat litter, like empty the whole box out and then put fresh litter in there. But let's start vacuuming. better that that is finally done though because it was getting pretty gross so now I feel definitely refreshed for my little babies right guys I am packing up a Poshmark order really quick I don't know if you guys remember when I bought this dress Zane said he really liked it and then I was like I don't know if I would ever even wear that but let me just buy it sat in my closet with tags on it so now one of you guys gets to have it I feel so tired all of a sudden though I don't know why probably just because I was just moving quickly cleaning and everything now I sat down and I'm like oh Feels nice to sit down. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I got the tape in the mail for my Poshmark orders. You could so totally tell on camera. It is so pretty, so sparkly. It's like a washi tape, so you literally just peel and rip, and it's so cute. So that's what you guys get on your packaging. So the next thing that I want to do is I have this mirror here that I don't have a home for. And instead of having it just sit around because I don't have decor right here, this is where we record our podcast, right in the middle of our sound phone. We're going to hang this mirror just because that's a place to put it instead of having it sit around. I feel like I get a lot of questions on this trick. I just learned this from my parents. This is what they have done. Well, I guess more my mom. My dad would properly measure. But I use blue toothpaste to mark the wall so that I know where to put the screws. And it's just easy because I don't measure anything. So for example, this mirror in particular holds on these little things on the side. So I put toothpaste right at the top here because that's where the screw would have to go for it to hold. By the way, this mirror was in our bedroom. I just switched it out for the one that's in the mudroom. We've had this mirror for a long time, like since we first moved in. Hey babe, hmm. can you just tell me when this looks straight real quick? Do you want me to raise it and you tell me? Yeah, or I already have. Fuck. Yeah, let me do it. And my side down a little bit. But other than that, it's good. Oh my god, thank you! Alright, I needed Zane's help because it was super heavy, but as you can see on the wall, there's little blue dots, and now I know where to put my screw. It doesn't come out perfect as if you were measuring it, but it's good enough. <laughs> Better than just eyeballing the screws into the wall. You got it? Oh, it looks good. It's perfect. Yeah. Good job, baby. Thanks. I freaking did it, you guys, but this needs to be Windexed so bad, so we're going to do that real quick. All right, it's not perfect, but I tried. The Windex that we have is not that good, so. Anyways, I cleaned off the desk here. Well, I just used this to clean it, so ignore that. But I organized the podcast desk a little bit. I think it looks really cute. Like I said, it's just something to throw there for now, just because I had it anyway, so. I think it's cute. What's poppin' everybody? It has been a while. I just was like, I'm gonna watch some TikToks. Two hours later, has it actually been two hours? It's probably been more. I just relaxed, laid in bed, and watched some TikToks, and um, it made me happy. So, now, we're gonna do something somewhat productive. By somewhat productive, I mean we're gonna learn a new TikTok dance. And you guys seem to enjoy this the last time I did it, so. We're gonna learn one together, and then I gotta make something neat, because it's it's been a long time. I'm gonna show you a quick snippet of the song that I'm learning so you guys can know what it is. Okay, that one. So, I've been watching it like over and over again so I kind of have a small hang of it but now we're gonna learn it and record it. I gotta find somebody that does it slowly. Some people do this differently. <laughs> this girl did it in slow-mo to learn it. Here we go. Okay, I think I finally got it. You gotta be vibing, yeah. Think about that you got it instead of like, all right, what's the next move? Right, okay. Dancing tips from a non-dancer. Let's do this. You guys said last time, why didn't you use the timer? And I don't know, I'm not TikTok savvy, so 
we're gonna use the timer now. Record, I'm gonna record my screen again for you guys because I feel like that's fun. Timer, not there. What is going on? Wait, I gotta find that girl that I just used. There she is. Use this sound. Okay. I don't know how to do the timer. It's going on a different part of the song. We're not gonna do the timer because I don't know how to do it. You guys gotta teach me. I need to watch like a YouTube video, TikTok 101. No, that's not the right part of the song. What's going on? Why isn't it giving me the right part of the song? I'm so confused. Oh, they're just using the song. I see, I see. Okay, how do I get to the certain part of the song? I literally don't know how to use TikTok. Trim. Found it, found it. Okay, we'll start there. Okay, that's fine. It up. That angle is not, not flattering. Okay, can we put her up here? Wait, closer. Is that good? I'm gonna make it louder too, so I can bop. Okay. Nope, I don't like this angle. Did I do this angle last time I filmed TikToks? Let's try it over here. We're gonna go in this cute little corner. Now we have the lamp, I can lean it on this stuff. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna try it out. I don't think I want the timer, actually. Let's try. No and no and no. Higher. Damn it. I keep starting too early. That's the problem. This is harder than the last one, you guys. I can't find a good angle. I need to buy a phone tripod if I'm gonna be a TikToker. No. Close, but no. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta buy it, we gotta buy it, we gotta buy it. I can't get a good angle. I'm going back. I'm going back over here. Attempt 55. That was okay but not good enough. Oh my God, we finally got five options in my drafts. So I'm gonna go through those probably tomorrow morning with like a fresh, fresh look at them because some have a little bit of low energy and some, you know, we need all the right energy in the dancing. I'm sweating though. A nice little mini cardio session. I was trying to balance my phone on this tissue box, but it's like ceramic, I guess. And so my phone kept slipping forward. So I had to like put stuff, prop it up. It was a hot mess, but we finally got it done. And now I'm so excited to eat something. Oh my God. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we have the lettuce from earlier. Earlier. Okay, and I have leftover chicken. Yeah, I'm breaking the salad except I wish I had spinach and arugula We don't so it's gonna be a boring salad, but that's okay. I'll take it bam you guys super easy salad I just skipped the avocado since I had some earlier So we've got romaine lettuce chicken with taco seasoning scallions feta cheese corn Italian dressing you guys will see this recipe very soon in my recipe video, but so yummy And with all that being said that is gonna do it for me today you guys I'm gonna enjoy my salad watch some YouTube play some animals crossing probably actually fall asleep very soon let's be honest but i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope that you are staying safe and healthy and hanging on in there i love you guys so much you got this today's notification shout out goes to robin garon geron Robin Jaron, please forgive me. I love you so much, Robin. Thank you for being the first comment on my last video. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you for being a part of the notification squad. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below, letting me know that my notifications turned on. Zane is playing video games, so if you hear him mumbling, that's that. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below, letting me know that my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.